slept on the porch sometimes because I just gotten out of a year in jail and you don't want to go inside after that. But here's my good friend in the supporter, Ian Freeman. Uh, I love what you do guys. Give it, give it, give it I'm glad to see you sharing the stage with Carla Grant. Oh, yeah. Give it to her. Um, hey, uh, if something bad happens to you and the cops actually arrest you, now that it's decriminalized, you know, oh, it's just a hundred dollar fine. Well, what I want to tell you about is not taking the plea deal. Because if everybody here was charged with cannabis possession and given a hundred dollar fine, and you don't pay the fine, you demand your trial, you go to court, you make them work for their conviction. They're probably going to get it, but they are going to hate going after marijuana users if they actually have to take you to court. You can clog their system up by doing this, and uh, worst case scenario, if you refuse to pay the fine even after you lose in court, you can still just do community service, or you can just sit a night off in jail, and then you're out, and you're good to go. So the idea is stop encouraging these people by giving them money. Stop giving them your money. It's, it's just encouraging them. If every marijuana user refused to pay the fine, they would be fucked. So anyway, if you want to learn more about it, I've got some uh, fly, uh, flyers. I'll be walking around with them here shortly. Thank you, Rich, and thank you, everybody. All right. There's been a lot of talk here, but a lot of this is going to be used as uh, footage for my con congressional ad, so I'm going to run my mouth some more. There's another really important issue that's important in, the is in, in any rights case where there's a criminal uh, proceeding brought with a jury, and that is jury nullification. People like to throw their jury duty notices in the trash. And normally I'm a big fan of Freedom. throwing mail from the government into the trash. But don't throw your jury, your jury notice into the, into the trash, please. When you get called for jury duty, you go. And when they bring a case in front of you where some poor bastard sold some weed to his friend because his friend was having a bad day and now they want to put him in prison. Vote not guilty. Fuck the evidence. Fuck it. The evidence doesn't matter because the crime is wrong. And as Thomas Jefferson was pointing out, a crime which violates no natural rights is no crime. And I feel like I just ran a microphone and this thing's about out of energy, so I'm gonna turn it off after letting get the insights and stuff. It was great to hear that uh, we can help each other out if we get picked for jury duty. Uh, that's one way we can prevent somebody from being hurt by the system. Um, or, you know, protecting ourselves too, just not saying the things to the police that caused them to raise the suspicions that they are getting us arrested. So, knowing your rights there too, you never, you basically never have to talk other than to say your name. And sometimes I can hear your name more than that. Oh, I really so, uh, would love to have a shot And also, one thing that we can do is support our friends who do get stuck up in the system. Right in, man. Life-giving nutrients. Uh, can I jack your water, see it? If you have a friend that's, in the, that's caught up in the criminal justice system, uh, if they get arrested, because uh, it's decriminalized for small amounts, but if you have over a certain amount, they're still going to throw you just in jail. Too. So it's a very limited decriminalization here in the state. Um, if they do arrest your friends, if your friends do get tickets, call up the places that, uh, that have arrested them. Ask, ask how your friend is doing. Make sure that they know that if people get arrested for cannabis, a lot of people care about them and don't want them to be in jail. Go to your friend's court hearings. If they know that a bunch of people are here to see someone's case because it's another cannabis case, the judges are going to remember this. And these people hold a lot of sway with the politicians. <laughs> Can you come together for one more moment? Yeah. And uh, just to make sure the cameras get it, I'd love to have a camera around behind me. And I'd love to get that Leave Us Alone chat going for just another minute.
Who's got a nice camera? 